Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and this is your 37th tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to make something very cool. And uh, before, I want to show you guys a jQuery extension library called jQuery UI. And this jQuery UI is a very powerful tool and UI stands for user interface. And it just provides lots of uh, snippets and lots of tools for, for your in user interface. You can have this tabs for instance or um, accordion accordion is this slider so you can switch between the sections of a document so you have uh, lots of cool stuff here and, and you don't have to write uh, too much code because everything is already uh, prepared for you so if you uh, view the source you see that it takes only one line of code but you just make sure you, you uh, append this jQuery UI source to your to your web page, and then you can use all these nice functions. For example, uh, you just need to make sure to write the correct HTML structure for it, and then you can just only apply these accordion functions to to it, and it will make nice accordion out of it. And of course, you already have you will also would need to style the element using CSS and stuff. So anyway, uh, and there's something we are going to use from this jQuery user interface and um, this is something called sortable. So what sortable is you can pick up you can pick an element and like drag it and drop it somewhere else like pick it and drop it somewhere else so you can probably you can pretty much um, change the the order of their appearance and if you uh, look at them using the developer tools you'll see that the sortable in fact changes not only the appearance of, of the elements of the screen but also it changed the real structure it changed really how they uh, how they displayed on the on the page you see so if I drag this element from the bottom to the top it's being dragged physically so in fact it's it's been dragged and uh, what we are going to do with this we are going to uh, make a tool so that we can like drag for instance this picture and leave it somewhere here in the middle and drop it and then uh, when we drop it we will write um, a jQuery code which uses Ajax which sends which sends the message to a server with this order of these elements and the server will have a PHP script which will save it and next time when you go to this page and you open it you will see the changes you uh, you made before, and you don't have to worry about the, the PHP part of this tutorial because I already um, uh, written some code for it. I already uh, uh, programmed this change.php, and I also renamed the index.html to index.php. So, and you would need a server to run uh, uh, to run this page. Because uh, otherwise, the PHP you just just cannot open it in your browser locally stored in a computer. You would need a server for it. So, and what I also did, I cut out the the, the portfolio list and I put it to a document called list.html, which is right here. And this dot list.html contains um, our portfolio entries. So you don't have to worry that there is no uh, um, li elements anymore because I include them using PHP so if I reload the page you, you see that the elements are still there and if I go to the source code of the page uh, we'll, sti we'll still see them right here so for the, the, the normal user who doesn't have any access to your source to a PHP source code won't be able to uh, to see that this code is actually from PHP and this code is in fact somewhere else in an external document. In our case, this is list.html. So what this script will do, this PHP script, we will send a message to the script going like, hey, server, please um, change the structure, change the, the order. So I'll just basically um, store the order of this, uh, of this picture pictures to a variable and I'll pass this variable using Ajax to the server and the server will just store the contents of this variable into this list.html and this is the reason why I created an external list for them so that it is easier uh, from the server's 
perspective to uh, update the order of the elements. So I I talked a lot in this tutorial and we didn't do anything but right now you guys know what we are going to do in the next tutorial. So in the next tutorial we are going to uh, write some Ajax code and we will also uh, bind this jQuery UI as an sortable thing so that we uh, can be able to change the order and then save it. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I hope you guys uh, will be interested in the next tutorial. So, see you later.